morning. It's time for you to go grab that cup of coffee and join us for today's episode of Wednesday Wonderings. I have with me a special guest today. This is Diane. She's one of our tour hosts and I'm sure many of you have traveled with her in the past. And if you haven't yet traveled with her, you definitely will have some opportunities. Um, so I just want to go over a few things before we get started today. I am really excited. Um, our whole company is excited. We have installed on all of our Prevost Motor Coaches, which is our tour coach that we take, um, a new system called Prevost EnviroCare. It is super cool, Diane. It takes the air. It has all brand new air that comes into the motor coach. Every five minutes, it's brand new air. It passes through a filtration system that eliminates all the pathogens and germs, but it not only does that, it also sanitizes and eliminates those so this pathogens on the surfaces. Outside air that's been treated and it's now coming through and we're not breathing everybody's air over and over. Right, that is cool. and it's taking out the germs. Uh, you'll lo learn more about this. Uh, we have a link down below. Watch that video, it's really interesting. That makes me feel um, much more comfortable. It does, and so we do all we can to keep everyone safe and healthy. Um, even without COVID, it's a great product, I think, to have forever. Um, Thank you to Burlington Trailways for that. You're right, you're right. And I also want to touch on a few other tours we have coming up uh, really soon, actually. If you're still interested in our Salem Halloween tour that takes you into Massachusetts, it also does much more than the Halloween things. Um, but I do have just a few spots left on that. Uh, we have over 24, 25 people on that tour already. Um, so there are just very few limited more seats. If you're interested, give me a call. The other one is the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. That is coming up also in October. I have a few seats left remaining on that. I got to see part of the Indianola this year. It was beautiful and phenomenal there in Iowa. It's just a smidgen of what the Balloon Fiesta will be. So I've, I've seen a small festival. I've even gone up two or three times and crewed for oh, some of those. Oh, good for you. But I can't imagine Albuquerque. I have good friends that own a balloon and they go out there every year and it's phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal. so. If you're interested in that, do give me a call within the next few days um, so we can get you hooked up and ready to go. We also have day tours. Everyone has been asking and begging for day tours. I got busy. I have a few of them put together. Uh, so do check out our trailwaystravel.com under day tours. You'll see all those listed. One of them is a mystery tour, November 4th. It is filling I fast. Either. I, I don't know either where you're going. No one knows but me. <laughs> Um, but it is filling up. It's over half full already, so don't hesitate if you're wanting to do that mystery tour. So um, I think we should start talking a little bit about the main one we were wanting to discuss today. And when choosing a tour host for this tour, you are a no-brainer. Um, that's because this is the DuPont Legacy Holiday Tour. It'll be coming up December 1st through the 10th of this year. Diane was a no-brainer because Diane is was a DuPont employee. Um, she knows a lot of the ins and outs and whatever's. The history, the behind the old Lots ones. of history, exactly. So, um, the, we just, the tour starts in December, the 1st to the 10th, and you've got the brochure, you can see a lot of the stops, but I wanna highlight about three of those specifically. One is Hershey, Pennsylvania that I've never been to, so I am really looking forward and to I that. And I have been to Hershey. It's awesome. I think we're going to enjoy that. We'll get to see the history. We'll get to know, learn about Milton Hershey himself, who really looked at his factory people as different as anybody else. He had homes built for them. You're right. They were like family to him. So he really changed industry in, in uh, the United States. But the best part, Diane, since you haven't been there, when you come off the trolley ride of seeing how chocolate is made, it opens up into this giant candy store that you look down upon. And there's all kinds of chocolates everywhere. Everything is Anything. in a gift shop and now in a candy store. Couldn't be any better than that. It's like heaven. And I hear, you I hear that you can smell the chocolate as you're coming through. You do. The town definitely smells of chocolate, so, so there is no doubt there. That would be a great trip. You I'm know, really this is the exciting part about this tour. It has the DuPont history. It has lots of Christmas and Christmas lights, but it has so much other things that we're doing oh, too. Just, and then, then I'm really excited then when we get to uh, Wilmington, Delaware. Wilmington is the 
corporate headquarters of DuPont that uh, has, has, wasn't uh, in business for well over 150 years. I was a long-term employee. I love history. I love the information. We're going to stay at the Hotel DuPont, which is an epitome of, of luxury, I think, in hotels. Uh, we'll have a chance to go to uh, the Winter Third Gardens, the Longwood Gardens, Hagley Museum. Yes, and Longwood Gardens. I mean, when we're talking Christmas, these places are decked for Christmas. And I know I keep saying, but look down below. Uh, there are links. There is an awesome video there of a drone flying through Longwood Gardens. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. I've been there and seen that area in three C, actually in all four seasons. But Christmas is at Longwood Gardens. You can. I've been there once. I've seen it. Can hardly wait to come back. Yay. It's great. We also will have a chance to um, go to Baltimore, and mm -hmm. we're going on a Jingle Bell Rock cruise. So that's the day I hear we should really wear our stretchy pants. True. So we're going to be eating well that day. Very true. And those uh, dinner cruises are beautiful because you get such gorgeous views of the uh, mm -hmm. landscapes and cityscape. And then after four days in the Wilmington area, we're going to be trying to start heading home. Mm -hmm. Lancaster, Pennsylvania, heart of Amish country. Love Lancaster. We'll have a Christmas market in a couple places. We'll have one in Philadelphia and I think we have another one. Uh, we'll be eating Amish food, so keep those stretchy pants handy. Most definitely. And a big highlight in Lancaster is we will be going to the Sight and Sound Theater there. Oh, yes. And the Sight and Sound, the show, will be Queen Esther. And when we say live, we're talking live, live. All the animals in them are live. Um, it is a phenomenal theater. And Looking if you've been to, to the that. one in the Branson, this is very similar, but this is the original home of Sight and Sound Theater. So Queen Esther, we were really, mm. we're going to get lots of history. You ancient are. and biblical. Not such, <laughs> so ancient really, a couple hundred years. Uh, we're going to then coming on through Indianapolis, we mm -hmm. will have another opportunity to see new, huge Christmas light dis displays. We will be ready for Christmas, that is for sure. That's right. If you don't have your Christmas lights, Christmas sweater, and all that good stuff out yet, you better start looking for them soon. And I'll have lots of trivia through the out the way over, over and back. I'll be having trivia for you and information. I would love to share. In fact, I love to talk. For those of you that have been with me, you know that. <laughs> That's two of us. <laughs> we don't just sit and watch the, the farmland go by. So we'll enjoy. I'm really looking forward. I hope you do join me. It'll be a wonderful trip. So I think there's a PowerPoint and some links below. You'll have some more information about what we're going to be seeing. Right. So take a look at that. It'll those. be a much more in-depth, um, give you a little bit more history and what we are actually doing day by day in the PowerPoint. Be sure and check that out. Uh, and then also, don't forget, if you want to make reservations for this tour or any others, be sure to give me a call. Uh, our number, I think, is probably posted somewhere, but it is 319-753-2864. I'm at extension 176. Um, and also, I do want to throw out there, even though this tour is in December and it sounds like it's a ways away, which it is not, um, it is filling up. Within this last week or two, I have taken several reservations for this tour. So I think people are, are starting to realize the weather is starting to turn a little bit cooler, um, that prospect of fall and that winter to come after. It's, it's less than four months away. In four months, we will be home and ready for Christmas. Yeah, so. totally right. And I do want to mention something else that we have coming up um, before this one, and that is our trip down to Pioneer Woman and Waco to Magnolia and the Silos. I and Diane both have had the privilege of hosting tours um, down to that region. Those have a little bit of seats left open on them as well, so do check that out. What was your favorite part? Oh, it's well, hard to pick. Isn't the bakery, it? the cupcakes at the bakery, uh, just shopping. Uh, we got to go to see some of the houses mm -hmm. on tour that had uh, uh, fixer upper. How about Jimmy Don? Jimmy Jim, Don. Isn't he the greatest? Jimmy Don was a highlight. He was there. He gave, we had a little lottery for folks in the, the, the bus or the coach, excuse me. Uh, it cost me 25 cents. <laughs> um, he was wonderful. He told stories. He was great. He, he was, was great. great. He signed things for us. Um, it was actually right before my son and daughter-in-law were going to be getting married and I had found a really neat metal sign 
And so we were talking and it got into that conversation. He said, let me autograph this for them. And he wrote a nice little paragraph for them. And, and um, I have one that says, be the change, right as I go out my back doors. So there you go. Remember to be the change. But that place was cool too, just to see how they were made and all the stacks of them sitting in the back. But um, at the silos, since I was there, which has been two years ago, I maybe think three. Maybe three years. I kind of lost track the last I know, 18 time months. flies. <laughs> but they have added so many things to the silos. They have. I can hardly wait to be there. So. And there's more than just the silos, too. The whole little downtown area is nice. There's a trolley that runs down there. The Spice Market. Um, yep, Spice Market. Uh, there's lots of other shops. The antique shops. But the highlight to me was coming home. We stopped at Reed Drummond's Mercantile. But the oh, meal, the food. <laughs> That's where you needed stretchy pants. <laughs> you need to wear three sizes too big. And I think honestly, we all waddled out of there, no doubt. Um, even our driver was like, wow, this was the most fun. In fact, he drove for years too, and I think that's probably Indeed. why he wanted to go Indeed. back for more. <laughs> that's right, that's right. It was great. So yeah. if you all have not been, please join us. There's so many things that we see on the way yeah. back and forth. So I was looking for the brochure, but that is in November as well. And uh, we're glad to have you come along with us. Well, I think we're probably running out of time. I don't know about your coffee is gone yet and may need a refill. So until next week, have a great, great day and we'll talk soon. <laughs>